Good morning, world. I am here in a beautiful, sacred place on the north shore of Kauai, the northernmost island of Hawaii, in this uh, ancient Hawaiian burial ground. And I've been thinking about how photography is. I want to give this tip about the essence of photography. A lot of people get caught up in the devices. It's not that. It is about your camera is a tool to help you with your vision and perspective. That's really all it is. And the meat of it, the meat and potatoes, is how you play with angle, light, composition, and timing. Those four things. All you got to do is think about those four things when you go out shooting. And that's what I teach in my private sessions. How to connect with that because it's more about a feeling that you get. This is, we've, we've gotten kind of away from the art of photography and the feeling of the art of it in favor of these fancy devices and expensive hoo-ha things and you know I'll tell you after spending half a million dollars on my photography business that you know what it's not about the equipment as much as it's about your vision and the feeling that you get when you're photographing so whether it's painting photography dancing playing a saxophone music it all comes down to the feeling so here's what I recommend and this is also what I do when I'm leading my private retreats and the private photography sessions is I take people out with whatever camera and plop them down in an incredible location. Might be a sunrise, a sunset, or a beautiful forest like this in the middle of the day where the light is just gorgeous. And then we shoot together. And we focus, pun intended, on angle light composition and timing and that's all you need and when you look at your pictures after you also filter it through those four things those four elements to see whether the picture works and I can help you with that too but getting back to the shooting people love taking pictures and you can get amazing pictures if you're thinking along those lines. It's not so much what your device does, because I've had people come from my retreats with iPhones, um, with very simple point-and-shoot cameras. So it's not necessary to spend thousands on a fancy camera. Now, if you want something really light and mobile, there's plenty of options. You want to carry a telephoto lens, well, I don't know of one that doesn't weigh a lot and if it and if it doesn't weigh a lot and it's a high quality lens it's going to be expensive so before you go running out to spend money on equipment use what you have and give yourself the experiment of going outside sunrise or sunset because that time is the absolute magical time to photograph and playing with angle, light, composition, and timing. So if you are shooting a picture and it looks boring, boring, change the angle. I can guarantee it usually gets 60 to 100% better when you change the angle. Get up high, get down low, and then think about in your composition, putting that... It's like your canvas, your viewfinder, so you're looking at it like... A canvas you're painting on and you can choose to do the rule of thirds which a lot of people do intuitively without reading about it um, so that you pick a point of focus and that's your main thing where your eye just rivets to it and then everywhere else your eye dances in that frame is going to be luscious and beautiful We'll talk more about this in another video, but I just wanted to leave that with you in this sacred Hawaiian ancient burial ground. So, aloha and many blessings from Kauai. See you in the next video.